Yeah. Oh, yeah. We gotta get through this. Uh, it's time for me. Okay, so I'm gonna start off with the very first okay. one. We're gonna do some chair Colin's shuffling. Colin's gonna move back a little bit. Colin's so gonna come around this side. Whoa, there goes Colin. Um, first just, up, yeah. the Yoons are back in stock. We has Yun. What? Yun? Yeah. They're back in stock. Get them. All right, next up, Solder Sucker, the best Solder Sucker. Yeah, this is a fancy. This is fancy pants. Could I, could I say fancy schmancy? I got the it wants for this one, yeah. Yeah, it's fancy schmancy yeah. here. Can you hold this, Colin? I Thank can. you. Thank you, Colin. All right. And we have some lovely photos as well. So, this is, so a lot of people have like the cl classic sort of blue solder suckers, and this is one um, from Engineer uh, Japan, which is a, a Japanese company that makes a couple tools we stock, and we decide to carry more of their stuff, and this is their solder sucker. And uh, I'll show it on the overhead because this is, uh, this is super fancy. Okay. It's time for the overhead. Okay. So what's nice about this is, first off, it's got this nice machined aluminum body. Um, it's, it's, it's hefty. It's got a uh, nice O-ring. Um, it's just like, it's just great. It's nice and small. It's, it's like not that. too big, but it's like powerful. Um, and the really cool thing is it has a silicone tip. So instead of like a, a plastic tip that can melt, um, the silicone tip is, is heat resistant, and you get like a long strip of it as well. And um, so it's flexible, and one of the nice things about that is it means that you can press it really up, up against your PCB and up against the tip of the soldering iron to make a really good um, suction. So I'll show the photo with it. We have the photo with the flexi to show the... Yeah. We'll get to there. Yeah. All right, let's get there. So you wanted to show this one? Yeah. All right. So right. you can see that the tip will bend around, so you'll get um, a much better uh, kind of... I mean, it's not going to be like airtight, but it, instead of like this melting kind of like plastic tip that you get on the other ones, it's kind of Teflon or I don't know what it I means, like PLA, yeah. ABS or PLA or something. Mm. Anyways, this plastic that melts, um, the silicone is, is much um, tougher, and um, the vacuum is also really good on this, so you don't have to worry about like not having a, a good vacuum effect. Anyways, they're super fancy. So if you want like a really nice solder sucker, um, this is a Nice upgrade. Probably be easier to clean too, I think, since it's shorter. Yeah, it's got, I mean, like I could, I don't want to take it apart because we have a lot no, 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 of no, stuff no. to show, but it's um, yeah. got a nice spring and, and valve inside. Okay, we got to keep moving along. Yeah, Lots yeah, yeah, of we'll treats here. All right. Lots of treats. What is this, Lady Ada? This is an IC extractor that doesn't suck. Um, <laughs> so we've had. Um, it's the name brand. Yeah, so. Can you come back? Sure. Um, so this is an IC extractor, um, mm. and most IC extractors um, kind of suck because they don't have this really nice um, thing in the middle that, that, you know, the thumb screw that keeps it at a certain distance. You're supposed to hold it with your hands, and they're always really uncomfortable, um, and, and they always end up just kind of slipping, and you end up, like, pulling the chip out wrong or, like, not straight, and they bend the pins. So the real nice thing about this, um, this IC extractor is it's got really good tips, and also you can see, you, you know, you get it up against the chip, and you um, pull the thumb th thumb screw so that uh, you twist the thumb screw so it pulls in, and it grabs it by the edge, and then you can just lift out. Oh, that's smart. Quite easily. You're not using, yeah, you're you, it's it's mechanically holding it. It's holding and then it in place, uh, so you can just pull up, which makes it a lot easier than trying to squeeze and pull, which means you always. Clamp action. Yeah, it's like a, it's yeah. a clamping action, so it's 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 much much nicer, and I didn't like the the kind of cheap ones that you can get from Radio Shack for like a dollar, especially when you yeah. never carried them. But this one I think is, is good enough. I, I looked at a lot of IC extractors, and this okay. one is a good deal. All right, we're going to get through the next ones really fast. Speed round, Lady yeah. Ada, out here. We got these uh, scissors. Super scissors. Super scissors. These are all from the same um, engineer company. Uh, so all Japanese made, and this one is just a really nice pair of shears, and it can cut coax, it can cut ribbon cable, it can cut um, stainless ribbon. Um, it's just it's just really good scissors. They're way stronger than everyday scissors. Yeah. Um, and uh, you know, if you're cut, cutting ribbon cable, for example, it's really hard to do with uh, wire cutters. This is yeah. what this would be really handy. Yeah, this is great. So it's like in between snips and like aviation. Yeah, scissors. like yeah, okay. they're they're nicer than aviation shears and oh. less clumsy than tin snips. You can't do PCBs with them, can you? I wouldn't. That's a huge thing. No, th kind that's of thing. too thick for it. Right, but it can do thin thing. aluminum sheet, yeah, thin be, copper sheet. Yeah, that'd be good. Okay, next up, we're on to <laughs> some very interesting hardware. Okay. Data, what is this? This is a BMP 180 pressure sensor. This is the upgrade to the very popular BMP 085, which was discontinued by Bosch uh, Sensor Tech. Uh, this is the replacement. It is exactly the same, except 
um, smaller, so you have to make a new PCB for it. The same software works exactly the same. So if you have BMP085 code, this is a drop-in replacement firmware-wise. Um, apparently the quality is maybe a little bit better also. It has, you know, they slightly improved it, so you, you might get less noisy readings at the higher precision rate, but otherwise okay. it's exactly the same. Right. So uh, also it's a lot less expensive. Yeah. Okay. Next up, this was I'm really excited about. This is the 10 Degrees of Freedom board. Tend off. Um, Tend off. As we mentioned before, this is a K-Town joint. Uh, he did a really nice job with his 10 Degree of Freedom board. It's actually 11 degrees, technically. Um, you've got the L3D... It goes to 11. It goes hmm. to 11. L3GD20 gyro, which is an excellent gyro. Uh, the BMP 180, which you can kind of see right there in the center. And then right underneath, this is the LSM303. Um, magnetometer, accelerometer. So altogether, you've got um, three-axis acceleration, three-axis magnetometer compass, three-axis gyro, a barometric pressure altitude, as well as temperature. Uh, and all these are really, really good sensors. So we actually started out this design with um, like an Invincense MPU 9150, and I was just like, this isn't, a, this isn't really noisy. It's unstable. The gyro is just kind of flaky. I didn't like it so much. So we went back to the drawing board, and uh, that's why it took us a while. And yeah. we did it. With these sensors, which we already have libraries for, uh, we also have this kind of a fusion library. Um, but I think these are the best. I mean, these are top-notch sensors. Um, you know, they're not all in one, so there's two chips um, and then the separate uh, barometric sensor. But I think this will this will do the job, and yeah. it's a pretty good deal. Fifty dollars, and you get all these sensors. If you bought them separately from us, it would be sixty. So you get. A, and these are used discount. in like model rockets and. Mm -hmm. like oh yeah, this like can that. definitely do uh, in inertial measurement units. These are yeah. good quality sensors. They can do um, rocketry, um, quadcopters, uh, balancing robots, yeah. any of that stuff. So when we first released our gyro, there was an export clause. Um, can this one be shipped worldwide? Can, yeah, we we, the, we we had to sign it. that to get them from the company we got. But then the other one was like, oh, no, this is not an issue. You're not exporting to the countries you can't export to. So, so if you're watching internationally, you can use the code in order and get this shipped to you. Yeah. Or why? Not free shipping, because you can not un Unless you're in Iran or North okay. Korea, but um, chances are you're probably not watching if you are. Oh, who knows? Yeah. You think Kim Jong Un really likes I'm, the show? I'm going to stay open to okay. anyone. Yes. Yeah. Ten percent off if you're Watch in North out, Korea. Watch out! They'll surprise you. Uh, but you can't get this gyro. Not that it is export restricted for that those locations. Yeah. Okay. Okay. All right. Great. So, send off though. Uh, two uh, more products. Um, we might run a couple minutes late. Sorry, folks, but we're going to still do this. Here it is. The Pi TFT. This what? has been a long time coming. This is a touch screen for the Raspberry Pi. Yay! And Lady A has been working on this for a really long time. Yeah, I can do some live demo action. And you're going to do a live demo. Yeah. Here's some beautiful Those photos. Those photos we took on Friday. And t now onto the live demo. Oh, wait, it's flickering. Hold on. Let's see if I can. It's not actually flickering, it just looks like Yeah, it's this that's is big. what it looks like on but that's just the, camera. the webcam. It's, so. it's, it's a refreshing. Use exactly. your imagination, folks. Use your imagination. So this is the oh. console. Um, so you can see. Um, actually, let me. Uh, sometimes it looks better if I. Turn off the. Uh, yeah. Okay, so this is the console. So it boots up, and actually, you can display um, the normal boot console onto this um, once it's loaded into the kernel. So I'm going to log in. Wow. I've got my little keyboard down here. And I'm going to just show some. Are we demos. hacking? Are we hacking right oh, now? I need to start. I'm not typing in my password correctly. Yeah. This whole show is just turning out to be a William Gibson novel. Cryptocurrency, just typing the, in this little thing. Th you're welcome. This will be embarrassing. Finally, finally. Right finally. Okay. So, um, so yeah, it's a cute display, and with a small font, you can actually see a lot. So let me let me first uh, show an, an image. So you can display images. So, for example, here's a, a, a bitmap that we made. This is an Occidentalist uh, release photo. But you can like have it uh, show PyCam photos. That, that's something you could probably do pretty easily. And then let me show. Uh, playing um, a little video. So this is, um, doop, I don't doop, have doop, the doop, doop. Uh, audio, but this is, oh, wait, I'm playing the, uh, playing the one with the, this one. Okay. Um, so this is playing Big Buck Bunny, which is a, a Creative Commons video that's um, available online. Um, it's got this cute little animation. There's um, audio coming out of the headphones, but I don't have that plugged in. Mm -hmm. You can do like 20 frames per second, so you can actually do um, video not too bad. Yeah. Like it's not, you know, an iPhone, but it it can do animations yeah. and um, video great. display. 
Did you say the resolution? Was this it? is uh, 320 by 240. Okay. So I, I down um, down sampled it, mm -hmm. and then um, lastly, I'll just show X. I show the console, so you can run X through it, and um, because it all happens in the kernel, it doesn't actually affect the um, speed of the Pi. Um, and there's a touch screen. Um, the touch screen works both in X and in SDL. So if you're like a <laughs> That's so person. Cool. And you're like, I mean, I don't want to start anything because I don't want to like yeah. get into idle. So you can make a little like, tiny touchscreen computer. You could make your own yeah. touchscreen like digital camera with a Pi. You could do all sorts of stuff. Yeah, and then there's some other really cool stuff. Um, so I'm going to quit. One second. Make it to a dynamic keypad kind of thing. Oh yeah, you can have um, the touch keypad if you want. And then um, some cool stuff. There's um, you can attach a GPIO cable from the side. Yeah. Um, so if you want to plug in a cobbler, it only uses like five GPIO pins. Um, and we've got this great kernel module that you can install that, that does all this and you don't have to install a whole image. And then another fun thing is there's these little buttons down here that are connected to GPIOs directly. And one of the neat add-ons to our kernel is you can have a button assigned to an on-off um, module. It will shut down the Pi when you press that button so you don't have to like yeah, log in. Yeah, it's a big deal. Oh, man. And shut down, so it does that a clean is, shutdown. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that is, that, that needed to happen for a long time. And yeah. then what's yeah. really interesting is it actually, because it's um, running on the chip in the background, if you press it again, it will reboot. Pink. Okay. The other thing I like about this, it, it costs less than the Pi, because I see all these Pi accessories that are out there, and it's like $130 to do something with a Pi. This is actually less than cost of pie. Yeah, so we've been working on this for a while, but I think this is a really cool um, add-on, and I, I can't wait to see what people do, especially yeah. since there's there's also pressure data that comes in. The, the touchscreen controller yeah. we're using has uh, pressure input, so you could use it if you wanted to write something in Python using Pygame. Um, you can have like the pressure, how strong your, I mean, don't poke through the screen, but the stronger you press, maybe something happens. Um, but it, yeah, it just shows up as a mouse. Yeah. So we have all this in our tutorial, so check it out. Um, they went fast, so sign up. We'll be making yeah. lots more. And uh, okay. we next, shut down again. Yeah, next up, big um, product launch. Um, we're the only ones in the US right now, I think, who has these. Uh, the new official Raspberry Pi Hub from Pi Maroney and the Raspberry Pi so Foundation. Like yeah. It's actually made in the UK, too. Look at this. They oh, said, look, made so in the UK. Cute. Yeah, so this is the, the Pi Hub. And we're going to show it uh, right now. I'm going to show it to you real fast. Yeah. Okay. Go oh, home, overhead camera. You've come had too much to drink. On. There, there you go. go. Uh -huh. um, so this is the Pi Hub. It's so cute. And um, it's got four ports. One, two, three, four. And then it's got a USB port for the hub input. And then there's a power plug. And um, there's included a uh, three amp power plug. So it's like, that's a lot of power. Um, so definitely it will be able to run anything you need to run. And you can power the Pi from it while it's also acting as a hub for the Pi. So it's kind of handy. So you can power the Pi through the power adapter. Like yeah. by you can doing modify your Pi miner to, 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 put, yeah. to put two little That's miners on the side. Yeah, yeah. make sure. And uh, it's just really lovely. It's well made. Um, oh, if you if you want to plug the Pi in, um, this port's the best one. I guess this one has the, uh, the highest limit. Each one has a fuse on it. It's marked. Uh, yeah, it's marked. Okay. You can, you can kind of see oh, yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. Little, little oh, yeah, 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 you can see it. Um, yeah. All right. Thumbs what a up. Coincidence. It's the same logo. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And yeah, Pi um, already designed the logo. And, so it, nice. and a portion yeah. of the sales go to the Pi Foundation. So you're not only just buying something, you're supporting a very cool effort and movement yes. to help bring computer science to kids around the world and physical computing with all the stuff that Lady A is up to okay. with the Pi. So um, two big, 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 big Pi product releases here this week. Yay. Okay. And that was new products.